everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents a haul. That's right. I went shopping. I know, right? If you hear stuff in the background, that is the hubby doing his chefy cooking thing. He is making some awesome, awesome homemade mushroom soup. So, uh, oh wait, we're going to get shown a beautiful mushroom. Yes. Little portobello. Baby brown mushroom. And that is part of what is happening. He's like four pounds of mushrooms. He's going to make a soup. It's always wonderful. And uh, yeah, it's making me hungry just thinking about it. So, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. I uh, just want to let you know what you might be hearing in the background because I'm recording here in the dining room today. He's cooking in the kitchen. They are one big room. I went to Pop Shelf and Dollar General. Now Pop Shelf is owned by the same people that own Dollar General. So you will see some of the same products there, but boy, do they have a whole lot more. And just, it's cool every time you walk in there what you see. But I'm going to start with Dollar General today because that's where I went first. I have two bags from Dollar General. First, a receipt that will get scanned in later. I got some really cute towels. And if you pay attention, you may end up knowing who a couple of these towels are going to end up going to. I'm just saying, okay? This is so cute. Be kind, be happy. And these are the towels that are like, they're on both sides. You can cut them and do the towel toppers. If I remember, I will link the tutorial to my towel topper doohickeys up here and definitely down below. I've also got plant good thoughts. You can see their spring stuff is already starting to come out. Um, may all your weeds be wildflowers. Isn't that cute? I just think that's adorable. This is super cute. No words on it. Just a very happy floral garden gnome to all of my gnome living friends out there. Today is a good day for a good day. That's what that one says. And all of these, I can't believe they're already putting their spring stuff out, y'all. It's January. There's still a little bit of snow on the ground around here, okay? Um, and this one here, which is just floral and pretty AF. So all of those towels, which I really need to get going on my towels and quit making blankets and everything else and hats, but you know, there's that. I have these, which are going to be sent to a friend. They don't know that yet. He gnomes if you've been good. If he knows if you've been bad or good. Gnomes, you know. They were on sale. All of their holiday stuff was a quarter, 25 cents, because it was. Um, I got some more of these for myself for yarn balls or for my hair, whichever I decide to use them for. These, partially for my hair, partially to make scrunchies, like this one up here. Um, oh, more holiday stuff. This will go in cards next year because, I, you know, I love putting stickers in my cards and stuff. This was super cute, and it was a buck. Um, I love wax melts, and I have a little wax melter doohickey. This one is called Sugared Lemon, and it was a dollar at Dollar General. And this one was called Italian Sugar Cookies. And these are the ones that have a bunch in them too, so you can like kind of break it in half and not have to use as many. I also got some washi tape for a buck. Three little separate varieties there. And these, if you've never tried them, if you like orange and you like kind of a minty flavor, the mint isn't in your face in these. But they're really good lifesavers. They're not gummy. They're they're a harder candy, but they're kind of that sort of chalkyish hard candy. They're not bad as far as like calories and crap goes. Just done this whole bag at once. They're each individually wrapped. So yeah, those are good to go as well. Now I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the bag so I can keep it all not piling up around me. Okay, there's all of that. There's one more Dollar General bag. And I don't remember what's in it, so let's go. Oh yeah, I read shelf tags when I am um, going through the store. And I glanced at the shelf tag because there was a lot of empty places on the shelf and I was trying to figure out what was empty and stuff. And there was something said literacy cookies. And I was like, what? Cookies that'll make you read? I don't understand. But it kind of is what they say. Um, Dollar General has a thing that says 100% of the proceeds go to Dollar General Literacy Foundation. Help someone succeed by learning to read. And like shortbread cookies dipped in fudge, I figure I'd give them a shot. They're also a dollar as well. So why not? Oh, I got some wool wash for gentle wash things. Um, anything that I have to wash by hand, i.e. pretty much anything that I crochet. And 
I got some more of these guys. Little packets to stick your hook in or to stick your scissors in or whatever. Clear front, zipper, ring binder, punch hole doohickeys. And, oh, because I can't help myself, I got another coloring book. Contemporary coloring, this one is succulents. It was only $3, which isn't bad. These are the ones that are printed on one side, so you can take it out and you can use markers. It doesn't matter. You're not bleeding through to another picture. Also, I got some more things for cards and stuff. Foam stickers, all different colors. These were also a dollar. Oh, and more stickers. Aren't these cute? Little food stickers, right? Some post-its to find places for things. And last but not least, from Dollar General, these are for my hubby. These are the Caramel Brownie Cowtails, which I've only ever found at Dollar General. So these are for him, and he's coming to take them right now. And they're gone. So there you go. <laughs> that is the Dollar General haul. Um, I have a pop shelf haul right next to me, and we're going straight into that because why not have all the hauls all at once, right? This bag, and I'm not going to show you every item simply because a lot are duplicates. And I can't even hold them like that and be able to get them out of the bag because the bag is huge. I did get a couple of more of these little plushy guys to make loveys with because I only got one of the elephants before and I decided they were so cute. These are a buck a piece. If you have a pop shelf anywhere near you and you want to make loveys to sell or to give away or whatever, this is where to go to get them, okay? I also got another one of these because I think these are super cute. This is a little rainbow llama. Oh my gosh. Dorbs. Absolutely dorbs. I got this because it's one of those I really can't help myself. It's bar soap. It's scented. And it's candy apple scented. I really wish that they had smell-o-vision or whatever because, and it looks like a nice holiday scene. It really does smell like a candy apple. I'm going to try it and see. And it says that it's cleansing and moisturizing. Whatever. It smells nice. Okay. Now, oh, all of Pop Shelf's um, Christmas stuff, except for stationery, and a couple of other like small things that they say that's not included you know battery's not included um are 90 percent off 90. so this 10 cents these are ombre ornaments that goes from gold to silver oh my gosh the sparkle even my phone is picking up all that sparkle and glitter because they are so pretty and they're so light too i was thinking those would be earrings right okay maybe not but they're cute i got those i got these, which are gold and red. How pretty are those? And I got another one of those, the silver and gold ones, because I can't help myself with the pretty. I also picked up more stickers because they're cute. I also got something else for the hubby. I have never been a rich woman, so I can't afford to buy him the cars and stuff that he would like to have. Um, at one time, he actually had one of these, so I purchased one. It is a Porsche 914. It's adorable, and it's gone. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> I bought myself something because y'all know that I have, I've got the seed warming mat, I've got some stuff, I've got seeds, and I'm going to attempt to grow things, so I decided I need a fork and a knife. Okay, that's not a fork and a knife. It's for, uh, you know, digging in the dirt and digging up dirt and all that dirt stuff. Um, yeah. So I got a set of those at Pop Shelf. Um, and remember I told you their Christmas stuff was 90% off? Okay. All of their Christmas gift bags are also 90% off. What, what? These were a buck a piece, so they're 10 cents a piece. Y'all, when you get Christmas gifts from me next year, any of the gift swaps that we end up doing and stuff, you will see these come back because they were 10 cents a piece. And your girl's ch cheap or frugal. I'm frugal. Is that a good word for it? Frugal? They're really cute bags, though. They, ha they still have a good selection. They also have all their gift wrap still marked down, of course. Peace, love, and joy. I love it. Love it. Those were such a good price. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Down in the bottom of the bag. I got this because I thought it was fun. 
I'll show you the front of the book. I'm so freaking freaked out, an inner truth journal. And on the front it says, I'm so freaking freaked out, a journal in which I can furiously scribble the heavily detailed multi-layered evidence for how freaking freaked out I freaking am because it's all pulsing through my brain like the television news treatment of a minor natural disaster with myself as a self-appointed expert tasked with obsessively reporting irresponsible conjecture and repeating images of destruction as I cannibalize my own thought process and descend into an unrecoverable tailspin of idiotic mental babble until I've taken several deep breaths, called a few friends, and written it all down, at which point I just might feel a little better until the next freaking time I freaking freak out again. Well, what's it about? <laughs> That's what it says on the front of this. And it's a journal. It, it's awesome. There's little quotes on one side of the page, and on the other side, there's a place to write stuff. Why I'm so freaking freaked out today, and you put the date on the top. And you can choose a thing in the bottom, today's stress level and everything. I just thought it was fun. I hadn't seen that there before. And that's one thing about Pop Shelf and a lot of stores like that. You never know what you're going to find because, yeah, they get different stuff in all the time. And finally, I did get multiples of each of these. These were part of the Christmas stuff. Y'all will find some of these in gifts next year. And I already know who I'm giving some of them to. Um, and y'all know I'm cheap, so it's all good. They were originally $5.00. They were 50 cents because 90% off. This is a cute mug. Look, retro mug, okay. And it looks like, I guess like a speaker. It's like a radio kind of deal. And on the back, look at that. There's the front. And in the box, it says with double chocolate cocoa mix. This one also has double chocolate cocoa mix. And it is a travel lover's mug. And it says Rome and Paris. And there's planes and stuff on it. So... Yeah, they're dishwasher safe. They're made in China. They're really cute. And they were really cheap. And uh, those will be part of some gifts this coming year. Whew. Oh, wait. There was one more thing. I love the smell of this essential oil brand. This aromatherapy essential oil blend. Y'all know I love lemon. They had the lemon stuff. It was $2. It smells nice. I opened it and went, yes, that's nice. So I might put little drops on it somewhere so I can smell some lemon. That was it. That is everything that I got at those two stores. And no, I did not go to Dollar Tree because I'm waiting for the big brand new Dollar Tree to open in Livonia. Livonia is like the town next to where I live and they're getting a big, huge Dollar Tree. It's built. We drove by it today. Um, there's product in the stores. The stores are still a discombobulated mess. The lights are on. There's product in the stores. The, the, the parking lot is paved. It doesn't have lines on it yet. But there were people working in there, working on stuff. And I'm excited. When they open, I want to go. I got to see what they have because I love me some Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's going to be boosted up to a buck twenty-five yet. I guess I'll find out. But I do thank you for coming by for the haul today. Yes. Because, um, you know, sometimes you just need some retail therapy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it if you uh, hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. What have you bought lately? And do you have a pop shelf near you? I looked at their website, they've only got like 45 stores right now, so unless you're in the southeast of the U.S., you probably don't have one. But if you do have one, go check them out, because they got some cool stuff in there. Um, please come back again. I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.